Alrighty, welcome back. As you can see, we are at Harvest Homestead. This is a portion of Woodguard. Maybe it's technically separate, but it's all in the same kind of general vicinity to me. This is where you start, Cinder Vault. This is where we are. So, we are going to get, I wouldn't say a new, but a more recently found building block. And this one is going to be for roof. So... We're going to see how I set this. I want it to encompass the entire back of the right-hand barn and the whole front of the left-hand barn. And get it to where it's about right there. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to come in here. I have my hammer. Although, it doesn't really matter. Let's even do this so we can show you. So you see these guys right here? If you come up to it... Now, this does not always work. I have problems with my game... Uh, sometimes it doesn't. Tear down. Straw. This is what you're getting. And you are making tarred straw roof block and straw roof block. So, this is the best location for them. There is another location that you can get far less. This one is a challenge. Oh, it worked this time. There you go. So you got all these over here. And then we're going to go over into this barn. This is all uh, shroud wood, by the way. So if you need a bunch of shroud wood and you don't want to have to go farm shroud trees, just come in here and salvage this whole thing. Oop, there we go. Da -da -da. And bonus, you got a chest in here as well. So I will pop out and I will show you what these roofs look like real quickly. So we're going to start right here with the straw block. So this is the straw roof. Next to it is going to be the tarred. We're going to put plant fiber next to that because that's what everybody normally has. Then you got stone shingle. The block that we cannot uh, create. You just have to get it from these buildings here. And I'm going to run out of space. Yep. Figures. Uh, let's just turn this. There we go. That's good enough. Plop her down. Alright. So we've got... Yep, that's not going to work. It's going to have to stay here. We'll just go to four. So you got your tarred shingle block right there. Then over here you have roof tiles block. There are now six total roof other than just using a block to make a roof and it looks like a stair step. Then you have stone shingle, which yes, I did get backwards in the other video. Uh, plant fiber, tarred straw, which you will need a little bit of tar, and then straw roof. So that will show you what you need to be able to get and create. You get a fair bit of straw over here. It takes five to make 50 and it takes here let me show you oh it's like show me I don't have a bench yeah I've got a bench hang on we'll go here and I'll show you real quick the next part of the video is going to be a lot longer I'm going to put timestamps for everything so that you can skip around how you need to alright so we come here come down to your straw roof block you only get 50 and it costs 5 you get uh, 22 or 23 or so each time you go if they all tear down for you and then your tarred star straw uses 1 tar and uh, 4 straw again for 50 so you're not getting very far with that stuff it's not like plant fiber that gives you 100 for 5 it's, it's going to take you a hot minute to get enough to make proper roofs. But it does look nice. I, I like the look a little better than the straw. So I'll be back with you in a minute. And we're going to do the long one. And that is... Do, do, do. This one. So this was found by someone on Discord. And I am going to show you the arduous task of getting it. And when you do go get it... You only get enough to make this. Clearing the entire structure inside 
uh, this cave, this is all, all that you get. And I, I mined every single piece of it. I even died doing so. Um, mostly because I don't think we're supposed to get it in the demo. There is a spot where you can go right up to, imagine this is that red line for the wall, and then right here just laughing at you is a big old pile of it that if you cross the line and you got your pickaxe, I'm going to do it real quick, it won't let you because you're outside of the demo area. All right, we'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, we're back, and now we go for the hard thing, trying to get this stuff right here. So, we can't see it very well, but that's that uh, broken two-story house that you have to climb up the lattice in the back. <clears throat> Just above Rookmore. Braylon Bridge is right here. So, home is here. And we're coming over this way. This little uh, waypoint here is where we're going inside the shroud. And when I say that we have scoured every inch of this demo area, there is no other spot in the demo area that has this inside the demo area. So you're going to come in here into this cave. I don't remember there being any enemies or anything, but of course you will need shroud protection. So that is what you're going for, but unfortunately we can't get to that. We are enshrouded right now, and unfortunately your pickaxe doesn't do much. You can get a little bit, but not really... Not, yeah, it doesn't really do a whole lot, and you don't get anything in your bags. So, we're going to go for that one instead. By the way, there is a chest, if you want to come in and get it when you're here. So you walk over to this side, and boom, you're out of shroud. So over here, there is no shroud, but up there, there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop an altar... It doesn't matter where you put it, you can put it closer on. I put it out of your way. The reason is you're gonna be putting there are two thought processes. You can build up to it starting from here, running uh, stairs up to it, but you have to zigzag, zigzag, you're gonna get all the way to the ceiling, so we're gonna dig a tunnel across the ceiling and then come down on top of that thing. The other option is use scaffolding. So put up scaffolding to get you high enough. It even faces the right direction, which is kind of cool. Get as close as it'll let you go. Actually, I'm going to pull back a little bit because the shroud does curve over this way. It's a, kind of a pain to put these things on top of each other. Let's, let's see if going up it'll let me do it. Yep, oh, oh, yep, it's there. There we go. And scaffolding's really cheap, so it's a good way to do it. Ah, not fall off. That's not good. Let's uh, repair that like an idiot. And like I said, there will be timestamps that you can bypass any part of this you don't need to watch. If you know how to do all this, then you are good to go. So now we're getting up here and we're getting real close to this. Um, you might be able to put the next scaffolding. It's going to let me. So, but the scaffolding is inside the, the ceiling now. Uh, also, bring two pickaxes. I happen to have made the extra scrappy one. I would bring two pickaxes. So now we got to do the long process. And I'm going to keep this whole thing in here so you see just how annoying it is. Again, timestamps if you don't want to watch it. And you can go forward to the next thing. We have to cut at this so that I can get up on top of this to get up into the ceiling. Here, I need to get up that way. Let's not break my thing. Should be enough to get me up here, and it is. All right. So we're going about like. First off, let's get this out of my way. We actually want to start from over here.
So you will bounce in and out of Enshrouded. You can always walk back. Like, I can get to a little bit doing this, but not enough. So it you're going to have to tunnel upwards. We want to get our bearings right. We're going to go like this. about like this and then about like this so one way to tell if you're going correctly is stand here look straight at like you're gonna pickaxe it and look where up at the top look where the the compass is and how it's facing so it looks like it's North and south are both showing up. We're going almost exactly perfectly east. So if I'm going like that, I'm going too far to the left. And now I'm going too far to the right. So that's about right there. Ay, 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 ay. Damn it. Well, I need to go higher. Now I need to go around a little bit. Where is some of this so I can get around without it pushing me down into it? So it's right there. I'm gonna jump up into this. And now we're gonna kinda yawn that way. Since I skewed it just a little bit. I would suggest having a uh, torch with you as well. So that you can kinda see what you're doing when you get in here. It's really tough when you're sitting here cutting through this mycelium to actually see what the hell's going on. And sit and wait for your... Uh, you can drink water or anything else that you have. You can even have the rings that are the stamina regen to help with your digging. Always make sure you're as level as possible, even if you're slightly upwards. Uh, we're here already. That's the stuff. Let's clear out a big spot so we can see what the hell we're doing. I think we're here. That looks to be it. So, now let's clear out all this around here. And we are actually going to dig on top of it and dig down. And yes, at the very end, that last shot, you got to be careful because you're going to die if you do it wrong. It is too far to land without dying. Careful. Uh, that's a good sound, but a big hole to the ground with me not standing on that is a bad sound. So just gotta be careful how we're doing it. So let's go ahead and get out here on this. And I had what three, I think, to start with. Don't forget to watch your shroud timer. Because you can run out in here with all this digging. Oh, stamina. I get it. I understand why they have to have it, but it doesn't mean it's not annoying. And that is why I bring two pickaxes. So, we've already already opened up a hole right there. We're going to be super careful. Try to flatten it a little bit here in the middle. And there's the other side. So we've opened it up a decent amount. See where you're coming from. If you need to, open it up a little bit more. 
so you really get an idea of, okay, uh, that's, that's my safe zone if I need to get some breath back from the shroud. Now, disconnecting this was, don't, won't do anything. You're not going to fall because you disconnect it from all the stone. We want to disconnect it because we want to make sure we get every single piece of it. As annoying as it is to do this, and you have to do this every single time on every single map that you start, just to be able to make three blocks. Three blocks of a hundred, of course. And your mileage might vary. You might get four. You might only be able to get two and still have four left of the material. Whoa, 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 whoa. So once you start getting to the point that you're actively taking off where you're standing, try and angle this so that it's right at the edge. It's kind of a pain to do, but it's not too bad. You only get a couple shots at it before you start whiff batting. So I still got a little bit of space left to walk on. Alright, I am going to go get refill my shroud meter. Ah, I almost fell down there. Doo -doo -doo. I do have mine talented, that's why I've got more. But this plate, this uh, doesn't have the level 2 in the flame altar, so I don't get that bonus minute. Be quite careful, just tap your button once, don't hold it so you're not power hammer, uh... What's it called? Power mining it, because you don't want to take away, you want to bring down level, if that makes any sense. think I've got enough. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect us. Worst case scenario now, I can uh, jump down, glide down, and then come back, climb back up. Jump back in here. So we're just being careful to leave ourselves a platform to stand on that's relatively flat. It likes to kind of angle it and uh, slide us off the side, which is really annoying. Just be careful here. One straight. Another one. Woohoo! Careful. And like I said, when I'm when you see me just hitting it one time, I'm just tapping my mouse. I'm not holding the mouse so that I don't accidentally uh, I don't know, power mine, I guess? And then it hits it twice. So we want as much of it as we can get, but we also need a place to stand the whole time, so... We're gonna... Woohoo, that's getting sketchy. Getting awful sketchy. Oh, oh. I think I can do it. Let's find out. I'm just trying to get ready with... Now, here's the thing. You fall and you die, 
it'll put it sometimes will put your gravestone up here in the middle of the air and you can't get it back. It's real dumb. I lost a stack of tar doing that. Okay, is that enough? Let's try to edge it just a little bit. I don't think I can edge it anymore. All right, here we go. Here's nothing. Woo, I just barely got that off. All right, so there's one teeny tiny little piece that I didn't get. But for the most part, I did get it all. I ended up with 20. So enough to make uh, 400. So let's check this out, shall we? Perfect spot because we're inside of a ca cavern. Nice little place for us to uh, check out building with something cool. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's build a little... I don't have any doors, so I can't do anything with that. It is super duper bright. Like it is. <laughs> it's it's actually black light. Look at me. Look at my character. So it's basically glowing black light. And that's what you get from this. It, it, it is just as bright in the daytime. Let me uh go out. I can always come back to here. Let's go out and I'll pop a couple pieces outside and you'll see what I mean. It is bright, bright. But it has like a, a extra lighting or whatnot in a, inside a structure. It works great. Alright, so. Let's, uh... Let's turn our snap on. And let's build ourselves... Let's see what we got here. Let's get a doorway. And I think the door should have a uh, window next to it. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll put a little flat roof over the top. Alright. We got ourselves a little uh, glow house. So, quite a bit of possibilities. Um, there's already people on Discord showing, like, um, um, words. Putting words, making words out of them, using them as accent lights. You can do something like this. So, if you build a normal... Let's see, do I what do I have? I don't know what I'm doing. Wrong button. This button. Okay, so if I build a normal, I don't know... Do the same thing here. Then we put in... Three... Two... And then six. Now, but... You want some lighting. So what you can do, let's see right there, we'll take out one spot. And now you have a recessed light. So we'll do that again here. And you have recessed lighting inside of it. You can do it just the same on the side wall as well. So it works to give you really interesting options. It could be a, a button for your house. Like, you come up, yeah, ring the doorbell. I'll be there in a minute. Ah, I missed. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, so y you've got all kinds of options with it. I really like the idea of the ceiling lights. I can see someone making a modern ho house out of it. That'd be really cool. All right, there you go. There are the newest, the 17th block. And the two uh, straw-style roof types. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.